In this video, we're going to be discussing one of the most useful websites out there for getting better deals on products from Amazon, and that is Camel Camel Camel. Now, what Camel 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 allows you to do is set up price tracking watches for individual items on Amazon. It can be anything. It doesn't necessarily have to be sold by Amazon. It could be a third-party product also being sold on Amazon, as long as it is in the Amazon marketplace. You set a price watch on it, and then from that point forward, the website is going to start keeping track of the cost of that item on Amazon. And I'll show you right here, they even make a graph out of it automatically through the data it collects. So you can see how the price of a product changes over time. You can see here this specific one, for some reason it went all the way up to $70 at one point. But you can see how this product has steadily been decreasing in cost over time. That tends to happen with many products, especially video games and other things that just tend to diminish in their value after release. Now how this works is for each product you set up a desired price and whenever the price of that product either being sold by Amazon, a third party for a new product, or a used version of the product, the Camel 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 website will automatically send you an email letting you know that that item is in stock and at the price level you want. So in a way you can kind of set your own price as long as you're willing to wait for prices to actually drop. Now let's go ahead and demonstrate how this actually works. Of course, you register for an account and all that, same as any other website. And then you would go ahead and browse for products. You can also just type in the URL of a product from Amazon that you want, or a keyword if you wanna search for it, specific products. So generally, uh, you would go to Amazon and find the product first, but you can also do it through browse products if you wanna go ahead and check out each individual category. But I'm gonna do it through Amazon. So let's go ahead and go to Amazon right now. Now once you're back on Amazon, all we need to do here is find the product. So you could search by department and browse that way, or you could just find something it's suggesting on your front page, like we're gonna do here. Let's just take a look at this Inside Out DVD. It's a new Disney movie. And uh, it looks like it's selling for $23 on Blu-ray. And that's probably a little bit pricey. I'd want that to go down in price a bit. So let's go ahead and take this on to Camel Camel Camel. So if you didn't see there, I just copied the uh, URL. And we're going to put this right here. And it should automatically find the product. And yes, it did. All you need is the URL. You could also alternatively type in Inside Out and it should churn up, but you might get multiple results when you're using a keyword instead of a direct URL. So URLs are going to be best. Now, uh, this product does not have third-party people selling it new or used at the moment. So this would be a desired price for Amazon, as in Amazon is selling it directly to you. So you can see how the cost of this product has already dropped off significantly over the course of a month between June 21st and uh, sometime late June, early July. So if we want this to drop further and we want to be notified when it does, we just have to set a desired price here. So for instance, I could set this to say $16. I think that might be pretty reasonable. And it may notify you about this. Your desired price is lower than we've ever recorded. That's fine. It's just letting you know that if you do set a really low price, it may never come around. It may never notify you because the price never drops that low. However, this is a fairly new movie, and I would be semi-confident that at some point in time it would drop to $15 or $16. You may have to wait a few months, half a year, maybe even a year. But sooner or later, it'll come out and uh, you can buy it then for less. So if you are happy with your desired price and you want to be notified on it, just hit start tracking. Now, if for any reason it seems like you're not receiving the emails of the alerts as you're supposed to be, you can always check your account, account settings, email settings, and make sure you have email alerts enabled right here. Now, aside from using Camel 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 to track your own products, it also provides a lot of data on items which are popular and selling for less than they used to sell, including the popular products and top price drops tab. And there's also a community deals tab, which is very similar to Whoop.com, where people find the best deals. And as a Camel 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 community, 
they let you know about the best price drops, the best deals at the moment. So checking these tabs can actually be really helpful. For instance, on the popular products tab, you can see pretty much what other people are buying. And I believe this is using Camel Camel Camel's data, what people are looking at on Camel Camel Camel. So this is going to be items which are currently selling very well. And that's going to be because they have a really good price at the moment. For instance, you look at these Crayola markers. Their average price is 409, but right now they're going for 197. You look down, um, there's a WWE wrestling game. It's 20 bucks now. It used to be $40 as a list price. The average price was 36.51, but it's only $20 now. It probably just had a price drop for, from uh, $40 to $20, I would imagine. And that's a huge discount. That's 50% off just by basically waiting a little while. So you can use this tab to basically find products that maybe you're not looking for specifically, but given that they are incredible deals, may actually be worth picking up given the price. On the top price drops tab, you can find items which have dropped significantly in price recently. And it's nice here because they'll let you know basically what the previous price was and how much you're saving by buying now as opposed to a little while ago when the price changed. This laptop, which apparently is a gaming laptop, dropped $150. That's a pretty steep discount for a laptop. Those are the kinds of things that maybe take a little longer to depreciate in value because a good working computer always has some value. And we can scroll down a bit and see some other products which have dropped significantly in price. For instance, you got, it looks like a pair of speakers here that look like rocks, which is a little bit interesting. Um, but they've dropped 23% in price. Now, do you want those? Maybe they are really great. You definitely want to go check out the Amazon reviews before you make a purchase. And I think you can just go to the buy now. And this will drop you right on the Amazon page where you can read the reviews. And the reviews for this one are incredible. Uh, four and a half stars is what you're looking for in product reviews, but always read them too. So you can see how using the top price drops tab can be a really good way to save some money if you're looking for a specific kind of item like a laptop computer. I would definitely use this kind of thing if I was making a big purchase because it'll easily save you a couple hundred bucks. Now with the community deals tab of Camel Camel Camel, what you're able to do is you, along with anybody else who uses the site, is able to vote up on different deals to basically determine by popular vote which are the best ones, which have the best value, and which ones generally are what people should be going for if they're looking to buy things. Now, the problem here is that I believe this tab is actually relatively new. So you'll notice a lot of these votes are actually not really that popularly supported. Woot.com does this pretty much the same way where you can vote up or down on different items. And uh, the, what makes it good on Woot.com, though, is that the community is very well established. But it's got a similar thing going on here. Uh, the main difference is that anything that's a gold box Amazon deal is automatically added to the list of possible deals you can vote up or down on. Now, for the time being, I would probably recommend you use Woot.com for this same purpose and check out their community deals page, uh, simply because you can get much better more information on which products are actually really good deals simply by the volume of people actually voting up or down on the different products available. However, I would still keep an eye on the community deals tab for Camel 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 in the future. Uh, this may be a more developed feature. So this should give you a pretty good idea of how to use Camel Camel Camel. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. And until the next video, I will see you then.